looking at the setup on the left, we can see a, a much too vertical setup. Uh, we need to have some spine tilt away from the target uh, in order to effectively hit the driver. Remember the driver is up on a tee, so our goal there is to be striking the ball with an upward movement um, of the club face rather than a downward movement. You can see from this angle here, it's going to be very hard for him to be hitting up on the ball when the center of his swing is directly behind the ball. So we're going to get him to tilt back a little bit, uh, maybe widen his stance. We'd like to see the stance to be at least as wide as the shoulders. So he's got some really nice wide shoulders. Uh, you can see that his stance is not anywhere near that wide. Uh, so we've got to get him a little wider so he, he's a little bit more, more comfortable and has more leverage with the ground. All right, let's take a turn here on the, the golfer on the left, the face-on view, see what happens. It would now, now, see, he's actually moved his head back to the position closer to where we'd want him to be uh, based on the, uh, the line. Now, I've moved a little bit the camera. I didn't have it on a tripod, unfortunately. But he's kept his head back nicely, and he's coming through. Now his head's starting to move back to where it was, so he's going to have to scoop and break the arms apart in order to make a decent hit. And you can see that instead of having a nice triangle there, we've got the left arm bent, called a chicken wing, uh, and the right hand is underneath the golf club rather than rotating through into a shake hands position and getting a nice long wide follow through. Notice how close his hands are to his body here as opposed to the width we generate there. What we'd like to see is uh, the same kind of width on both sides of the body. And we're pulling in. You can see that? All right, now let's move over to the uh, face-on view. Now, this is an iron. Uh, he starts out in a pretty good posture position on the face-on view. Taking the club back. Notice how the club is staying pretty much, and the hands are staying pretty much on the, on the swing plane. Not bad. Uh, he could uh, let the toe come up a little bit there. He's kind of artificially holding it in place. Uh, that doesn't allow the club to work as it's supposed to work. At this point here, uh, he's not in too bad a position. Uh, he's a little tight. That's why we don't see the hands to get to the top blue line, which is the shoulder line. And what I'd like to see is the forearm of the right arm have a upward or a waiter position. Let's clear everything out of the way. And then I'm going to zoom in here. And what I'd like to see is this, this forearm from here go up. Uh, so that he's in that, you know, holding the waiter tray. Uh, that puts him in a lot more leverage position than he is. Let's go back down a bit now. Let's watch the downswing. Not bad downswing. Stays in plane pretty good. Doesn't pull up out of the shot. What he's doing there is he's moving the head up, slamming the club in the ground, pulling the hands in again. And you can see the club is not rotating. If I go to right there, you see the club face is still wide open, still wide open, still wide open. He doesn't let the club rotate around the shaft. Remember, the swing is a rotational swing. The club was designed to rotate around the shaft. You were designed to rotate around your spine. We don't see either of those happening very well.